A summer safety alert for swimmers using indoor pools. A scary incident in Tampa this week that sent five children to the hospital. They were poisoned by chlorine gas. Channel 4's Chris Parento live. This happened at an indoor pool, and what happens is the, the, the filters clog up and the gas builds up in the pipe, and that leads to a very dangerous situation. It does, Bruce, and it could be a complete accident when these things happen that you would never even know about. They can happen at indoor pools. They can happen at outdoor public pools like this. They can happen at the pool in your own backyard. According to investigators, when the pumps stop, wor stop working, the chemicals build up in those pipes. And then once they start working again and circulating water, the chemicals are released all at once in a small cloud that forms near the water. Some signs of chlorine gas poisoning include nausea, stomach pain, and vomiting. According to the Centers for Disease Control, if this happens at an outdoor pool, you should move away from the area and, if possible, get to a higher point than the pool because the chlorine will sink to a lower area since it's heavier than the air. If it happens at an indoor pool, it's best to leave the building. In an indoor pool, the main way to make sure that it's safe is to ventilate the entire building. It sounds like all five of the children in this case are going to be all right. The CDC also says that if you think you have been exposed to chlorine gas, to clean your entire body with soap and water and seek medical attention quickly. Again, that's if you think that you've been exposed to chlorine gas. Live this morning, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thanks, Chris.